Hey, okay, in this video I'm going to uh, I'm going to try a new program. Uh, this one is uh, Artemis PS3 VR5 Haxin. So I'm going to install this to my standard location, Artemis GY, uh, I guess this is version 4.415 uh, or VR5, I don't know, it indicates VR5 here. So what is this? An open source PS3 hacking system created under the Project Artemis initiative. And this has a website here, gamehacking.org slash Artemis. Um, it says the Artemis, okay, complete. Artemis, here it is, Artemis, Artemis. Okay, it's a cool logo. I'm going to start this up now. I'm already connected to the internet and uh, for those who are interested, I'm using a NAND CCHE model PS3 with uh, I think the original hard drive, 80 gig. So it says here, Artemis PS3 hacking system is a collection of open source free applications that allows you to apply neat cheat codes of many of your favorite games with ease. Oh, that's really cool. So this is a, it's a game genie. It's a game genie. That's interesting. It changes to Artemis PS3 R5. Uh, fix constant write for pointer codes, type 6 codes in brackets. Pointer codes were only once written and you had to activate them every time from in-game XMB with start button. Now this is not needed anymore. Winking smiley face. I have no idea what the hell it means. <clears throat> fix another change. Fix PRX unload from GUI in a proper detection for Cobra and Mamba. My head's just not in the space to really care right now. <laughs> uh, what, what was that? 4.81 firmware, and um, let's see, because apparently they have like a whole library of cheats, it says, right? Artemis Hacking Initiative, so since I'm connected online, I guess I could go... Well, first let's go about. What is this about here? Okay, thank you. Thank you for making Artemis. Such soothing music. Beautiful. It's such a, I, like, I want to say, like, I'm in cheat heaven. Turn the music on and off. It's cool. Sort cheats. Don't sort cheats. I think I should sort them. I mean, idea to have things sorted. Menu animations. Sure, why not? I saw a little glitch out there, but enjoying the menu. I'm enjoying this experience, as a matter of fact. Horizontal margin. I could change that. Oh, cool. Well, whatever. Cheats. Cheats. <gasps> what? BLJM, these are all PS3 games. Sweet. I have two Assassin's Creed. Um, Bioshock. Call of Duty up to which one? Modern Warfare 3? Seriously? Black Ops 2? Really? What is that? The update at the end? Version 1. Point, mm, that's probably the updated version at the end there. Castle of the Shadow. Oh, this is really cool. Cool, 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 cool. I wonder if they have a Grand Theft Auto 5. This is clearly, since it's version 1.0 whatever, this is clearly not intended for online use. This is not going to be for online use, but it's interesting nonetheless. Grand Theft Auto. Five. Look at all the versions here. But uh, nothing near what the latest versions are. Fun. Let's open one. I'm interested to see what type of thing it is. Common Rider? This is a Common Rider game? BLES. No, BLUS. 1.05. Infinite Ammo, Infinite Health. That's pretty cool. No Wanted Level. Once. What does that once mean? Constant. Once. So once is just... Code. 
And it shows you the code. That's very interesting. Okay. Ah, oh, so soothing. One more option, your start game. I guess that would be the, <clears throat> the game that's loaded. Interesting. Well, I suppose it works. I don't doubt it works. I imagine it's pretty clear cut. It tells you exactly what update version you need and gives you the cheat. And I'm sure you can contribute as well. I feel enlightened. And I hope you are too. If you hear this music, you know why I'm talking like this. Okay, anyways, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Cool. Bye. Have a good day.